Hello guys, my name is Charlie and welcome back for another episode of Spring Ball Element. Welcome to the Bast as El Salvador. And uh, in previous episode we... Well, for the most part we were just marching here in the south, uh, in Serbia. But I think we can try to... Well, if we can take out that airfield, that would give us uh, quite an advantage over here. At least I hope so. We know that they got... Oh, those are old infantry. Okay then. Also, there's some research coming along, for example, the long-range artillery ammunition. Which will be very useful. And there's some stormers around here that we can send in towards the front again. If we could take out Belgrade, that would be quite nice. Oh, right, yeah, because they took this from Serbia. Yeah, that does make sense, actually. That's why they haven't lost all that much area yet. Oh god damn it. The AI pathfinding is uh, quite moronic at times. Okay, we lost the storm because of that. Okay, well the enemy troops are going down. Slowly but surely. What we could do is, we could move over here. We know that the Germans have artillery here that is bombarding us, actually. Uh, we've got five units over here, let's move them over there to help taking out the remaining troops there. And if we can take out that one, that will keep the pressure pretty hard here. And we can maybe defend this area for a while. Okay, we got more mortars over here that we could actually send towards the front. Start sending them south here, because we really need them here. So we got some anti-air guns that we can move. Okay, you require some repair. And uh, how's this? There's only two left. One of them is the anti-air gun. Okay, that last one went fast, so I'll get these troops there. We can start moving across over this way. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, we've got plenty of units down here, so I'll move these troops to take out that industrial complex. And we need to move... Okay, those are not artillery, they are anti-air guns, so we'll move this artillery over here. And do we have more artillery? We do have another artillery piece down there that we could send towards the front. Okay, how are we doing here? Not too bad. We could actually move a little bit. I'll send these two to be repaired. And uh, we've got plenty of infantry around here that we can send back to the front. I'll send you for repairs. The rest of you can actually move to the next province or hex. Okay, they have a tank over there. Luckily, we do have artillery available. And we could probably take out... There's only going to be one garrison there, so... Let's move these. Take out the town and grab these troops and send them over there. We'll take out that one. It will probably be pretty hefty fight because they are producing troops there. Speaking of troop production, how much do they have land production? Only nine. Okay, so if we take out that one, that's going to be one up there. Well, I mean, there's probably some around Budapest, I would imagine, at least. Yeah, there's one over there. And probably plenty around here in Austria. Or Czechoslovakia. Although I don't really see them. They got aircraft production here. There's one land production over there. Then they they got naval production over there and there there and okay. Well, they got some productions, but not too much. I'll have to send you for repairs there, and we'll move you there. You can get over there. We can move the mortars within reach again. We can probably take them. Oh. Tap 79, it's gotten some promotions. Although it's not gonna survive for long. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's actually keep on moving this way. Oh, armored recon. Okay, well, it's not actually as great as I, as I thought. Uh, I didn't actually check its stats, though. We'll probably do that real quick. Armored recon. Yeah, it's not actually good. Yes, 47. So it's uh, rather obsolete, actually. Okay, we activated the trap card. So these troops will need to be ready to withdraw soon. What we can do is we can send these already over there. We'll send you for repairs. There's only two units over there. One garrison and the armored recon. You go repair. I'll send some of these already over there. We'll probably move over here. If we can manage to get enough firepower to support anti-air guns that way. Got plenty of artillery and anti-air guns over here. You over there. Okay, once that's done, we'll send you into the town. How are we doing here? Uh, we could probably take out that one now. We'll move some troops that way and we'll take out this town here. We'll need to move some artillery closer. Ah, it will be fine. Move a little bit over there already. We'll move you there. I'll have to send you for repairs, actually. As well as you. I'll send you to the front, although you are a little bit in bad shape, but yeah, we are pushing them back pretty hard. These troops will, can already start moving in there. Then we can move here and here. Keep on pushing this way. We're almost in Croatia, so that's good. That should flip to us soon. Move these troops over here. I mean, if we can, we can probably take out this side quite easily. There is a bridge, so technically we can move across here. Although that also means that they can move across there. Okay, we managed to clear out this town. And you require some heavy repairs. Luckily, that was only one unit. Uh, we can probably keep on pushing on. There's not going to be too much resistance. Okay, research. Oh, we got the ammunition finally. And uh, labor shortage. Okay, the shortage is not as bad as it used to be. Medical. NPC treatments. Okay. Universal immunizations. Okay. Healthcare cost goes up, but also the rating goes up. Now we've got some air defense units that we can't actually research. They have a very high close air target attack. But none for the medium air targets or anything like that, so... I don't know, it seems a bit risky. Okay, so the next one is this, then... Does it unlock anything for me? Commonwealth, Commonwealth... No, not really. Oh well. Okay, so we managed to capture that, we destroyed that artillery piece quite nicely. Now we are indeed doing a fair bit of damage over there. We'll move these two over there. Do require some repair already. We can move in there and then we can take out that one. I'll give you guys the order to move in already. Now we should probably move a little bit here in the north as well. The enemy has a little bit of troops, not very many though around here, so the situation around this section of front is uh, quite manageable. The amount of infantry, that is old. Okay, they are sending in tank this way, a T-72, and some other troops. But I'm mostly concerned about the T-72, quite frankly. Okay, so there's uh, 
infantry, there's probably going to be some garrisons, so if we get the artillery to help with that, it should be fine. Also, we can probably move a little bit along here. As well as here. Okay, I'll move you over there, and these troops can move this way. We can move across the river over here, actually. And then we got some more stuff down here that we'll actually send in towards the front there. Some extra troops that we can use for blitzing through. The artillery over here will move them closer. So basically, I will probably try to capture this area as well as uh, this area and around here. Take out Belgrade. Of course, taking out Belgrade, we're actually not that far away from it, so we should be able to do that. Okay, so that is only industrial complex, so I'm pretty sure we can take out the garrisons over there. There's only pretty small village, so I don't think there's a huge garrison there either. We need to send out some of these troops for repairs. I mean, to actually take out that village. And these two require repairs. Oh, they got barracks over there. Yeah, that does make sense. I'll explain a few things. I don't know if it sends spies on its own, but oh well. well I think we can keep on moving here. Not quite that far yet, but... Actually, now that we clear out that, let's move these troops in there. Move there. I will move you there, after all. And... These over there. Move you protecting that. Oh god, you need some repairs. Okay, the village might be a little bit hard to take, but I'm sure we can do it. Uh, we can send more troops that way, and troops from here, and here. Okay, they are sending in some reinforcements, but I don't think they have enough to actually beat us back. Okay, good. Move you over there. I'll let these troops rest at the barracks for the time being. Move artillery over here, in theory. So did we get the... we did get the ammunition, didn't we? Oh, yeah. It does give 48 kilometer range. But that does mean that we can shoot up to four hexes away. Okay, these two can probably take out that. And we do have the artillery here, so we can probably take out this village with, with enough troops. Okay, you require some repairs. And you as well. Okay, we can move these troops in here, and then we can keep on pushing towards Belgrade. There's plenty of units down- oh. Yeah, it's just the Germans. Move the artillery is down there. Oh, we only moved one artillery- well. Not that it really matters. Hold on, where are you going? Go over there. Okay, you require repairs. Right, so they got another bar- they got a lot of barracks around here, actually. And send in more troops this way. Okay, we're taking a fair amount of damage here, or at least losing supplies. So where do we have the heavy lifters again? Probably somewhere around here. No, it was not here. Or there, rather. Uh, this Oriole is around here. I remember seeing them somewhere. There they are. We'll send these heavy lifters to the south. We'll start using them to help with the pushing. 
Because we are out uh, maneuvering our supplies, basically. Move the mortars down there. Air guns can move that way. We'll move the howitzers also that way. We'll take out that village. Move a little bit forward there, and most of the units around there are just heavy supply trucks. So it's mostly about them sending in more troops that we can then we can fire at rather. Okay, so do we? We could start building some new stuff, but is there anything? Interesting that we would want. I mean, these Cobras would be pretty fast soft infantry. They have pretty high close quarters combat, of course, compared to the elite forces. Uh, there's about 9 points difference. And the heart attack is not very high. Soft attack, though, is uh, not too bad. But it would be something that we could produce faster. And having some soft targets might not be a bad idea, but maybe not produce that right now. Is there anything else in interesting over here? This scorpion, this... Okay, this one has a pretty good speed. Has a decent attack on our targets, but not really thrilled about that. You know what? Let's keep on producing... Oh, Look at that. Yeah, we'll start producing these. It takes a few moments for it to be produced, but it's going to be very useful. Okay, let's capture that. We're destroying the units pretty fast. Okay, are there heavy lifters nearby yet? Yes, they are. So let's send them over there, this way. So we're going to actually clear that one out. Okay, Belgra has three garrisons. I'm going to have to send you for repairs, I'm afraid. I'm gonna have to also bring our artillery a little bit closer. But with this, we could actually move some of these troops already into fighting distance. Okay, there's only six, so I'll send one of you there and these two over here. We can take our Belgrade, that's gonna be lovely. So, did it improve this? It might have improved the range on this one as well. Not enough though, but. Okay, I say that we are doing all right for the time being. Although the artillery might not have the range to fire quite yet. Now, technically, and now especially, but okay, some of these troops need to go for repair already. It's the downside of fighting urban warfare. We'll probably keep on advancing a little bit. Also, we can move our artillery over here now. We'll move the heavy lifters here. Actually, combine you over there. Move the tow anti air guns that way. You probably need to go get some repairs again. Okay, we got some IF2s here that we can send towards the front, and we got these troops over here that can. Oh, right, we got a whole other front to manage. Okay, let's move the artillery over there. We'll take out that area soon enough. Okay, Germans are flying over here. Do we have the anti-air guns in the area? Oh, we've got some. I'll move you over there, but I'll move these over here instead. Those are just uh, tank guns. I'm sure that I got... Yeah, I do have anti-air guns over there. We'll just move them. I mean, they are transport planes, so they're not doing any damage or anything like that, but they are revealing our positions for the enemy. I'll move these troops across the river as well. We'll take out those areas soon. And the Germans are flying in our airspace, I know. Okay, our bombardment is going alright here. Let's move these closer up. Okay, let's see. Um, there are troops moving around here. We don't know if they are going for Germany or not. They might be. Or rather, the, 
Well, anyway, not, not that it really matters that much. Okay, we'll move these almost down here. On advancing. They do have that tank there, and I'm not particularly fond of that one. Okay, let's see. Let's move these artillery pieces closer. So they can actually fire more often. There's some hoplites and Oriolas here. We've got plenty of troops down here that we can send back to the front. Speaking of troops. Send you back as well. Then we got some over here. Plenty over here, actually. Move you that way. Yeah, for some reason we are losing a little bit of money, but I haven't been bar bothering to check what's the reason for that. And I think we may have sunk enough of the Italians. How much do they have army left? Okay, it's about still the same. Also, Hungary has lost a fair bit, and then started to losing some decent amount of land now. Although we are pushing in fairly slowly. Uh, we'll probably move around here a little bit, and... Let's see, we got some extra units around here. Sell them this way. Basically, if we take out that bridge, that should make taking out this area a lot easier. I mean, they will be able to send troops in there still, but from fewer directions. Actually, that airplane is not mine, so I... Could have just clicked all. Okay. Never mind. Okay, we'll take out that one soon and oh right, we got the anti air castle soon. Yeah we do. Okay, so we're doing a fair bit of damage on that. It's on medium range or air target, so regular units can't actually harm it. Which is uh, slightly inconvenient, but yeah, we can probably take. Oh, right. Yeah, these are causing a lot of damage on us. I send in these troops to help with that. And we can take out that garrison pretty quick, I think. Okay, we are forcing them back. Now, we got some Oriolas around here. Some of them are damaged, but we can move them over there. This hop lines as well. Okay, oh, these stormers are in pretty bad situation. Or, uh, shape. Uh, we'll have to move you for repairs as well. And you. We can luckily send in some reinforcements from here. There's only one unit left in there. And we can also send these troops over there. Okay, let's send in these troops or and take out that one. I'll send one of you there and then we'll send in the how it says. Actually we'll only send five over there and the rest can stay over here for the time being. Okay, so we're still trying to clear this area. Let's send in some reinforcements there. They got Plenty of uh, places around here, so we need to be. Well, there's a lot of us for us to do. Okay, we managed to push them back. Let's get into the city and force them back even further. I'll send you for repairs and the rest of you. Okay, over there. There we'll. Slowly clear out this area. Got two stormers that have been repaired. I'll send them back that way. Move the mortar down there and the artillery I'll move over here. You should be able to support on that as well as some other places. Move these. Okay, these two require repairs. Move these houses over here. And we can probably take out that one soon. Not quite yet, but soon got some anti-air guns that we can move closer. Not that... I don't actually know if they have any airfields too close to us now. Um, there's one over there. Okay, so it's pretty close. Okay, what I... Ooh, that's about a few units. 
I'll move over there. How are we doing here? Actually, oh! Airplanes. Where do we have anti... Well, we're gonna move these closer and have them shoot down the enemy. We lost a unit. Okay. We lost another unit. How it's... Oh, right, okay. We lost the air forces that came here. Slightly annoying. Of course, what we could do is... Do... Oh! Plenty of planes are flying around here. I'll send the help light first of all towards the front. And we do have uh, fulcrums over here. What we'll do is we'll send them to control that area. Okay, there's quite a few units over there as well. I'm hoping that our planes over here can keep the enemy bombers or whatever they were away from us. Okay, we can move there. We can also move that artillery a little bit closer. Move these forward. We can start moving towards uh, Croatia now. Something like that. Okay, there is some enemy units around here, but nothing too much. Now, oh, come on. Save those. Move the mortars a little bit. We can actually move these troops as well. We can move our howitzers and anti-air guns over that way. We've got plenty of units around here that we can start using. Combining forces. And we lost another unit. Supply truck. Oh! Okay then. Well, we shot one of them down. So, PLZ202 Ferric. Let's have a look at the stats of that one. Okay, yeah, it has pretty high damage. It has a very large move speed and decent move range. I also do a fair bit of damage on mid-air and low or close air, air targets. It has missiles, although I don't think Austro-Hungarians are producing any missiles. I'm fairly certain I'm still the only one in the world producing them. Okay, we shot that one down. Excellent. They're flying around here, so that one will probably go down as well. Come on. There we go. Okay, so our troops started firing at that one. Okay, you require repairs. What are we doing here? There's only one garrison left and some supply trucks. Okay, you... I'm gonna make sure that you're actually going for repairs. And let's move the houses over here. And we can probably move over there. Okay, so they are sending through. Oh, probably coming from the barracks over there. Let's move these over here. Also move some troops over there. I'll send you for repairs. And I'll send you that way. We'll take out that place. Because, uh, yeah, there's no way the enemies can move in there without uh, having the amphibious straight. And the tanks do not have that. Okay, let's move there. The question is, do I have enough firepower to take out those? There's three and three. It's going to be six units. That is quite a bit. We can probably send some reinforcements from here, though. And we've got houses over here. We can move them closer to the front. Lost mortars. And we've got some stormers as well. Send them over there and then send the mortars next to the town here. We can take out that town and then clear out this and start moving. I believe this is actually Hungary. Yeah, that is. This is still Romania, but that is Hungary. Are we actually within... No, that's Poland. Yeah, there's still plenty of Polish land that they own. And this is Slovakia or 
Yeah, Slovakia. Okay. We could move some of our troops over here. I'm gonna send you for repairs, and we can, I think, start to move a little bit and take out, for example, this area here. Yeah? The mortar is a little bit closer. Okay, they are moving a tank over here. That's not good news for us. Although, it's only one tank, so we can probably take it out. Okay, they are trying to... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. They destroy it. How is it fast? Okay, well, let's move in some of these troops there. Move some of these troops over there. We need to make sure that they can't actually enter our lands. And apparently keep the artillery away from the border. Right, uh, so they got that, there's probably plenty of um, garrisons there, so we need to be careful with that. We can move the anti-air guns a little bit closer, and the garrisons here in Croatia are actually not that uh, strong, so we should be able to take them out without too much troubles. Because that's what I always say. Okay, I'll send these troops for repairs. Uh, once we get rid of that garrison, it should be pretty easy. Maybe once we clear out this one, we can start pushing along the coast quite nicely. Of course, we might have to leave some garrisons, especially at the ports. Because it is very likely that the enemy will try to do landings in there. Usually not successfully, but they can try. Or they, rather, they will try. Okay, um... We do have artillery over here. We can move in some troops over here and over here. And over there. Move the mortar down that way. And what did we research? Oh, right, yeah, it was the military stuff. All ship thingies. And uh, no, it did not unlock anything. Okay, the nuclear reactors is uh, almost here, and then we got the missile... Oh, range. Oh, right, yeah, we don't really use the missile launchers, though. Not right now, at least. Okay, how are we doing here? We could move this set of howitzers over here, so we can actually bombard units over there and take out that one. Because this one should not be too hard. Especially with enough firepower. Which I would argue we do have there. Okay, we're gonna move these here. We'll move the howitzers a little bit closer. As well as these. Move you back there. How much garrison is there gonna be here? Three. Ooh. I mean, yeah, we managed to advance a little bit, but there's still plenty to go. And if we have a look at their military, it's still... Yeah, pretty close to 400,000. Of course, we've lowered the capability of producing units a little bit. Industrial facility destroyed. Okay, it doesn't tell me where. Oh well. Anyway, we have reached the end of this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, also check out my Discord and Patreon links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.